Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. We are back on Castle Nod, and right where we left off in the last episode. So, in the last episode, we collected our hay bales, and also we put in place this lime dispenser, this lime container. Um, and the reason is, we've got a small wheat field. I'll show you. It's field 71, and it is in need of some lime, also in need of some fertilizer. So we're going to be applying those today. And I put this in place because it's just going to make it insanely easier for us to collect lime. So given that, I think I am going to be purchasing it here. Um, in fact, why don't we go ahead and do that? We definitely don't need to fill it completely. We'll start with we'll start with 5,000 liters of lime. We're gonna fill that. So yeah, a little bit different than my initial plans, but having looked into things, that's gonna be the way to go. All right, now we still need a lime spreader, so we're gonna go buy it. Uh, we do have a way to apply fertilizer. That is, we have this. Uh, liquid fertilizer sprayer and you can buy liquid fertilizer right here let's go get in our fit tractor because it's a little bit faster and we're going to buy a small lime spreader so far our fields are not too far away from our farm so if we're refilling frequently, that's not going to be a problem. So I will see you at the store. Let's go in, see what we have for lime spreaders. Okay. Go to fertilizer spreaders. Now there's a few here that we can choose from. I've used this one before, the Jan pole or Yan pole. Uh, it only holds a thousand liters of um, fertilizer and lime, so that's going to be a lot of trip, a lot of refill trips. Um, there is also this Axis 402. This has a really wide spread of 42 meters, and it holds a good deal. It's a lot more expensive. Honestly, I think this is a bit overkill. Uh, maybe we'll upgrade to something like that when we have larger fields. This Vicon I've used many times. I really love it. Um, the base model is 1,000 liters, but you can upgrade it to... Uh, 1700 liters um, and I'm also going to add the wheels it, it stays more upright when it's on the ground so 3850 pretty good buy let's get that and I think that's all we're going to need right now let's go catch that to the tractor and we will get going Also, this spreader is small enough that we could even uh, attach it to the uh, Valtra with no problem. All right, traffic? No traffic. Let's go. I will see you back at the farm. All right, I'm excited to get into my field and get things moving along. Let's fill up with some lime. And I am gonna move. I am gonna move that bale trailer. I promise. Um, yeah, it's just kind of in the way now. We'll go ahead and fill up. I've got, I've got the uh, 
the little trigger icons removed for right now, so it's kind of eyeballing. Ah, there we go. Okay. Excellent. Let's go lime our field. I have the auto drive mod installed, which is why that little mini menu pops up on the right hand side. Uh, but I don't have any courses loaded up for it and I haven't uh, made any, so I don't know. I may uninstall that or I may go seek out some auto drive courses. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, this map is big enough that there's a lot of driving involved. Hello, cows. Don't know if this is going to take two loads or one load. Guess we'll find out. Let's get started. And I don't want to waste this on someone else's field. And I also need to get over here. There we are. Yeah, it's looking like we are going to need a oh. Looks like we're going to need a second load of lime. Uh, you're welcome, neighbors, for getting some free lime on your field. Yeah, I think we're going to be just a little bit short. Let me grab this, get this little spot over here. Let's go get some more. After we put lime on the field, we're gonna put some liquid fertilizer down. And then what I had in mind is maybe do a contract. I saw a harvest contract to harvest wheat. Uh, it's a decent amount of money but more importantly to me is we can get a little bit of wheat from that contract and use it to feed our chickens because we have no chicken food now we can always buy some but if we can do a contract and also get a little bit of wheat off of it i think that would be good All right. So two loads, not bad. This is where I just hate the traffic. All right, let's finish this up and then we will move on to fertilizing this field.
Okay. Very good. Let's go get the fertilizer sprayer. We'll get that done as well. For now, I'm gonna just put this over here. I really need to put it under some cover so the lime doesn't get wet. Tell you what, let's just do this from inside. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the interactive zone markers because I don't know where, don't know where the trigger is for buying it. It looks like it's right here. Okay. Um, here it is. Let's buy some liquid fertilizer. We can also buy herbicide here, which is also cool. We definitely don't need that much. Let's get, let's get 2,000 liters for now. I think that should be plenty for what we're doing. We will find out. All right. So after taking out that substantial loan, we've got a good deal of money left. So I'm gonna pay back the majority of this loan uh, once all is said and done. Been a while since I've used a fertilizer sprayer. I am more of a solid fertilizer guy. We have been using uh, liquid fertilizer on the multiplayer server. Uh, Big Flats, Texas is the map. If you like played on multiplayer servers and you have a PC, would love to have you come join us on the multiplayer server. All of the team free for all members can have access to that. Um, that is how you can also financially support this channel. So if you'd like to do that, click that join button and uh, then join my Discord. Let me know you wanna play on the multiplayer server and I will set you up. All right, let's get this unfolded. Wow, that's a pretty wide span. This is going to go pretty quickly. Let's get this done. It looks ugly, but the minimap says that uh, we got all that done. So let's fold this up. We didn't even use that much fertilizer, so even better. All right, we'll put this away and then I'll show you the contract I have in mind. I guess I'll just put it right here again. Oh, look at that. We can even load it back into the container. Nice. I like that. 
Very good. Hello, chickens. I see you back there. Uh, we're working on getting you some food, so don't you worry. Save the game real quick. Okay. And let's look at the list of contracts. And this is the one I'm looking at. Uh, we're going to harvest wheat in field 12. It pays over $5,000, which is the most for the harvest contracts that are available. I did consider field three uh, harvesting oats, but that does not help our chicken situation. I'm gonna accept this contract. And let's go get our kit together. And then we will head over to field 12, which is quite a ways away. Let me show you real quick where that is. So here is our farm. We're going to have to go all the way into town and through town. And then field 12 is way up here. Now it would be nice if there were a bridge right over here where we could go to it. We're not that far away as the crow flies, but uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to take a while. So let's get things together. I'm going to use the follow me mod so that we can drive all of our kit over there in one go. So one thing I realized is I still have quite a bit of equipment over at this other farm site that um, you get when you are in new farmer mode. And one of those is the trailer that I've been looking for. <laughs> So we're going to pick that up on the way. And then, you know, if we can, maybe some of this other stuff, I'll go through it, see if there's any of this that I want to keep. Uh, otherwise, I will sell it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> puts an end to that mystery. Let me get the harvester ready to go. And then we will head over to our contract. All right, I'm gonna drive the harvester since it goes much slower. And then we will have a worker follow us. Let's get over. All right. That is the end to the traffic. I'm so tired of you. Let's turn you off. Traffic. Ah, oh, good riddance. All right. I will see you over at the other farm. Here to the left is where we will deliver our harvested wheat for the contract. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the combine here on the street. I'll just kind of pull over a little bit like that and gonna go get in the tractor and then we're gonna go fetch the trailer so that we have something to cart so let's head up here to the old farm
we don't own this land anymore but we forgot some of our kit left it behind over here so let's go pick that up I see it it's right there Now, let's hook up with our harvester again using follow me. Okay. I don't read French. I don't know what all that means, but I guess I can look it up someday. Can tunnel through this tree area. There we are. Very nice. All right, I'm going to drop the header right here. All right, let's get into the field. I think I'll make a montage out of this for you to enjoy. I forgot to bring over here for our contract is a baler and a bale trailer uh, I do have the mod where we can take the straw off the field when we're harvesting a contract so after I've harvested all of this I will go back for a baler and a bale trailer before I accept the contract money so we can get the straw off this field. Uh, that'll come in handy for our cows. Okay, we are full. Let's head over to the delivery area. I will see you there. Now, which of these is the delivery area? 
So this seems to be the right area. I hope I'm right. I've got not a perfect record in finding the right place to drop contracts. That looks like we're doing it. Yes. And we're 50% complete. Very good. Let's head out. And I'm sure that the combine will be waiting for us to unload it. It is full, it just became full. All right, that's pretty good timing. So it looks like we are full. Didn't quite get it into two loads. Not a bad thing, really. Let's go deliver this. We'll come back for the rest of it. We are 90% completed. All right, it says we're finished. Well, awesome. Let's go collect the rest of the grain. Then I'm going to go bring the Valtra to the field with our baler. And then I'll go back for a bale trailer. In fact, I think it's time that we buy a more proper bale trailer. So we'll be doing that today didn't expect us to finish the contract while I was dumping that so we did end up selling a bit of it I know there's gonna be some left in the combine Over 3,000 liters, not bad. That should keep our chickens going for at least a little while before we have to buy more. So I think what I'll do is we'll bring both the combine and this trailer back to the farm. We'll put this in our silo. We'll put the grain in our silo and then we will re-kit for uh, picking up this straw. It's so nice to not have traffic on the road.
Now, I'm not going to wash my equipment just yet. But I will. See if I can just get in here and feed the chickens first. Maybe it'll all go in there. There's a good chance it will. Well, we got it all in there. That just didn't look very nice. All right, I'm going to put this trailer away. And we're going to get our baling equipment. For that, we will need use of both tractors. And we're going to need to upgrade our bale trailer I'm afraid because we are going to have very many straw bales now, should we keep this guy around no I am going to trade you in sir and we still have plenty of money that we borrowed should be able to buy a decent baling Tra uh, trailer. Let's go get in the Beltra. There you are. Let's go get our baler. Okay. I'll get both of these trackers over there and I will see you shortly all right we are nearing the store so that we can buy some more equipment with money we don't have all right we know we're gonna sell this trailer so let's get that done Good working with you, Welger. Let's go buy a new trailer and a bale spike. First, the bale trailer. So I installed this Roland trailer pack, which I like very much. This, this has three wheels, this has two wheels. This is a lot cheaper. <laughs> Let's use this one. I think I'm going to do that. I like that. I don't know why. But I'm, let's try that. Let's do auto load. $17,000. All right. Here we go. Also, we need a bail spike for the front loader. Nothing fancy. I like this WIFO BP series for 650 bucks. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more than the default one. Let's just see. Oh, and you can use it for front loader, telehandler, wheel loader. You can use it for all of them. That's nice. All right, let's buy that. Excellent. All right. All right. Let's continue on to our field. All right, here. Oh, no. Well, apparently my contract has reset on me. 
Well, that's a shame. I was all excited about getting some straw, but I don't know why, but it reset. I'm really disappointed. Did we even get our contract money? Let's look. Contract income zero. Okay, well, I guess we'll give up on the straw, but I am gonna add in our contract income. So the amount of money for that contract was $5,097. So now we have it. Well, we didn't get the straw, but we at least got some contract income and a little bit of wheat to feed our chickens. <sighs> Let's go home. Let's put away our things and I I think <laughs> on that low note <laughs> I'm going to in this episode All right, let's check on our chickens, see how much food they have. Cows look good, chickens look pretty good. Okay, we didn't get a whole lot of grain over there, but enough, I think. And our chickens are looking happy. Well, folks, I think we'll leave it there. I will see you next time when we uh, possibly buy some more land, maybe do a few contracts. But until then, I'm Scott Free For All. See you later.